Ah, Jesus Christ, what a pain in the ass this has been. Alright. Time to stream a game nobody's heard of, because they don't have enough hands to stream ones that people have. Hey, wait. Why is the game not rendering? Okay, now the game's rendering. We should have adjust its position on the screen, but this thing isn't ever designed to even run in windowed mode, and I needed a custom launcher just to make it do that. Let me turn this down a bit. Man, it's slippery loud. Well, whatever, now it's probably fine. Yeah, this thing that I streamed once for like a couple of hours and I had nothing else to do. But you know, now that I've got no hands to work with, I might as well do a whole playthrough of it, right? The audio level's good. I had it set up for karaoke still. The exact word at the end of last time. You and me both. I don't remember shit about this. I haven't streamed in forever. Do we want to show the fucking intro cutscene? Might as well. It's free content and I can just, like, goof around. Plus, I can click on this and... Oh, I accidentally skipped it. Fuck. What is your name, spirit? Oh, wait. I should show off this part because it's hilarious. Wait for it. Or wait. They already ask if there's anyone there. Anyway, I think they ask at the end of the cutscene if anyone's there. So if you do this, the game closes. Alright, let's launch this fucker again. Alright, new game. Skip the cutscene. Ah, J O N E S. Alright. Now I'll actually show off the second half of the cutscene because it'll give you a decent idea of how the gameplay basically works. What you do is you try to max out the uh, frightened or insanity meters of everyone here. I mean, usually, there's other missions where you do other weird stuff. And yes, the ghosts possess things and do stuff with them. Actually, it's probably going to be have to be a staple game for a while, unfortunately. It's not exactly a huge draw, but I'm going to have to show it off, because I've got... Not a whole lot of other stuff I can do. I need to find like a third one-handed staple game. Be I mean, this fear and hunger and something else. But I can probably shoot for like one collab a week where I'm not playing games and just giving commentary. And I think that'll be my schedule until like, you know I got a hand that works again. I'm really actually uh... Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Fuzzgut. Oh, fuck, I clicked and it skipped it again. Ah, uh, whatever. Thank you so much, Mr. Fuzzgut Games. The following hunters have been assigned to you. I'm uh, surprised I actually even got this far. I was kind of hoping to, like, get cancelled at some point, but it didn't work out. So I guess I might as well start cancelling for, er, uh, cancelling, practicing for, uh, cancel Loki one of these days. I'm sure it'll happen eventually. You are ready but if it doesn't, something's gone horribly wrong somewhere. Ghostmaster, we are taking you to the. Are you going to show these first cutscenes? Maybe. In Gravenville University. The voice Only actor, the voiceover dude, is awesome. I love this guy. Moment, but scaring them all away should be a sufficient test of your abilities. Well, I mean, I said it pretty clearly on uh, the various shilling. It's don't really want shivers or want something else. Oh right, because I got the mod. I've got the uh, unused ghosts on hand, like Thorn, Azrael. Yeah, so this game has uh, four ghosts that you can't normally get your hands on. They're in the data. They're complete. They're for stuff that just got cut for time reasons. 
And I've got a mod that allows us to run Windows mode and adds the back in as just starting ghosts. Smoke and Joe, Soul Screech, Thorn and Azrael. Where can uh, Thorn fetter to? Water and Corpse, and he starts off with Flood and Arboreal Prison? I'll take it. I might only be able to hit stuff in like the bathrooms, I don't think there's any corpse fetters here. Basically, okay, yeah. So you see how like this is this capturing the mouse? Can't actually tell because the way it's set up. Hopefully you guys can see the the uh, blue mouse. See how it says fetter inside? That means clatter claws can show up anywhere that's inside. Thorn could be fettered to a water or a corpse, which means he can show up in any place that has water or a corpse. So you can't see mouse. Good. And yeah, they have different things, like, basically the ones at the far left, like Cogjammer and Cataclaws, are like the Zergs. They're cheap, they're disposable, but they can get the job done. But the things on the far right, like Azrael, Ghastly, and of course Thorn, are much higher cost units with much stronger effects, generally. I still think that, uh, what's his name? Fuck, what is his name? Buddy? There's a dog that you can get that's, like, super, super cheap for the hordes. With fetters of inside or outside, which means you can go anywhere. And he's probably my favorite unit in the game, and he's ridiculously effective for the cost. Drive the Just absolutely the broken. From their sorority house. Alrighty. Let me zoom out a bit and go down. So as you can see, this basically is The Sims. You've got people doing stuff like she's got, I guess, okay, she's not got a fucking, what do you call it? Not a full bladder, but she does have a hygiene thing that she needed to take care of. Uh, they're all looking to boost their entertainment. They basically just actually have the stats of The Sims. But they're just hidden, and the only ones you can see are terror, madness, and belief. And they go around doing their own stuff, and like you can even hear these two speaking in Simlish. And this is my... the top right, or top left, is my resources for getting shit done. And I have to scare the shit out of all of them. And get them to leave the house, because it's just a tutorial mission that's very, very easy. I don't think it's even possible to lose this short of running out of plasm from not doing stuff. Now, as you can see, as I've got a bunch more fear, I've now got 181 plasm to work with. Uh, step down, step up. Is that gonna hit only one? I guess they have different abilities, like... Boo's making chains rattle. Our good old spider friend is making weird shit grow, and that's freaking people out. Uh, go down to a floor. What? Why did it switch to a cutscene? Did it max out someone's fear or something? Oh, I did! That's what it was showing off. And of course, in the level, there are ghosts that are stuck to stuff that need to free, like Weather Witch here. Oh, but okay. I managed to interrupt the cutscene with another cutscene of her getting freed. Anyway, yeah, she's gonna complain about how she was stuck in the vacuum cleaner and couldn't escape, so I used the uh, wild and crazy from Kaguya to destroy the vacuum cleaner. And now she is on the party and can be freaking dropped anywhere. I guess thunderclap and gusts from the outside. Maybe from the inside? Oh, wow, this got, we got enough for Flood? Nice! Uh, where do I want to drop this guy? He needs to be fettered someplace with water. Boo's probably not doing any good work up here. Pro everyone's probably left? No, everyone's right here still. I don't have a water fetter, but I, there's an electrical here that can get some stuff done. Oh yes, and various different powers have various different effects. Like, I think you just use Jinx on someone, which means that they have bad luck. Because she's basically maxed out. If we can get, like, people in the kitchen, which has a water fetter. Wait, is there a water fetter outside? Yes! Oh man, that's great. Because Flood tends to scare the crap out of people. Even though it doesn't tend to properly render outside, which is probably one of the reasons he... Oh wait, no, there it is. Yeah, Flood just fills the area with water, which has... which A, frightens people, B, has various places filled with water type effects. Uh, whether which is causing inside fog... 
Where the fuck is Boo at? Oh, I got people in here, so I'm gonna try to spook with electricity. She's maxed out. She's about toast. I can see the uh, electrical stuff just wigging the fuck out, and I scared the crap out of her. He does kind of look like he's just pissing himself, doesn't he? Alright, where are you? Alright, so you're getting your shit spooked by that, which means you're about finished off. Where are you? You're outside, okay. And you're in here. Which means might as well bind Clatterclaws the inside and have him do a thing. What do you got for powers on? Storm Strike, yes, that'll finish her off probably, because everyone's scared of bugs. Oh, wow, she straight up passed out from that, okay. She probably has a particularly potent fear of bugs then, which is why she just passed out from getting covered in bugs. Because, actually, let me bring the bio. Because you see, there's also the fear, subconscious fear, and mood stats, which influence what type of uh, scares have what type of effects and how potent they are. As well as ways you can manipulate mood to get people to do different things. It's ridiculously overcomplicated, and in the end, doesn't even matter that much. I might as well just have him benched because our Boreal Prison's finished off. Oh yeah, no, this audio is great. If you've listened to uh, any of my like streams where I'm doing stuff with music, like uh, the Dark Souls streams, a lot of the songs are from this game because the soundtrack is, for one thing, fantastic. For another, it's obscure enough I'm not going to get bonked with copyrights. Alright, and that's the first level, Hunt 101. Okay, so I was 19 seconds too slow, probably coming entirely from the uh, talking I was doing before actually starting the haunting, to get the full times 5 multiplier. Which is kind of a shame, because the better your score on this, the more gold plasm you get, and the more you can upgrade your units with it. Which I think would upgrade uh, Clatter Claus if I got the money for that, because he's just so great. You may spend your gold plasm to teach right. your haunters new powers. Oh, Legion's gonna to take so, 750, alright. Alright, now we got a split thing, we got a weird seance or Calamityville Horror, which... Amityville Horror. Weird science. This game is full of puns. Full of pretty clever puns, too. They get the Ghost Breakers out later on as well. How old is this game? I think it came out in 94? The smug and irritating youths of the Alpha Tau fraternity mock the supernatural. I think it was 94. Not it might have been like 96 or 98, but I think it was 94. It was, it was like mid 90s. So like 25 years. The spirit world. And now, an opportunity has arisen. As the young mortals gather. 94, no way? Yeah, I guess 94 was when Ozark Nemesis came out, wasn't it? So maybe it's 98. In the base. I don't remember this fraternity. being basically impossible to run when it first came out because it was just way too graphic Not intensive for uh, most computers. The spirit world. They are opening the door. You must not disappoint them. Everyone must yes, be Yes, the nerds out of fraternity in are invoking terror. ghosts, so now we have free reign to they fuck with them. The true power of the supernatural. All right, uh, what's the recommended set here? Uh, Stonewall sucks. Don't actually want him here. I do need Aether to get something. 98 is more believable? It's not like, I can't, I don't think it's on the 2000s. I mean, there's a copyright in the title screen. I can check at the end of the stream if you remind me. Uh, what's, or whoops. What's Ghastly's better? The violence. Or is this guy's corpse? And Shivers has emotional. Asriel has thoroughfare. Dominate strange vision. That's probably too expensive to be good, even though I don't have a better option for harassing people outside. I'm gonna go with Thorn again, because he's a skeleton. Drive the Alpha Tau fraternity from their frat house. Oh, two, oh, oh, okay. So, yes, uh, early 2000s, 20, 21 year old game then. Alrighty, since I'm gonna be going to get all of the ghosts because they're useful later. 
Special order, only if you your current power band. Alright, this ghost is lying on the, uh, fucking... the pinball machine that killed her? What? Why are you fuckers, like, playing on this? 2003, okay. Look at all these fuckers with high luck that aren't killing the playing the pinball machine. Yeah, I need one of them to, uh, play the pinball machine while having high luck. And win enough times... I think she's got bad luck, so that's not gonna work. Win enough times for, uh, Lucky to get zapped? Because that's how Lucky died. Lucky died by, uh, getting zapped by this crappy pinball machine. And if we zap her again, she'll say, you know what, fuck this table. And none of these fuckers are actually doing anything. Ah, is there a good way to reset? Under committee briefing, restart current haunting, yes. The sm Cause I don't feel like losing a ton of time to uh, just waiting for NPC AI to cooperate. Drive the Alpha Tau fraternity from their frat house. Because your points are time based. Ah. Powers. Maybe we, we should wait till there's a couple of people in here to get hit with Luck Storm. Oh yeah, some of the uh, girls at this frat house party are from the sorority house. And if we, uh, figured out what their weaknesses were, their psychological weaknesses and their psychological profile from the tutorial... Alright, so what do we got? Luckstorm went off, who's got fortunate luck? She's got bad luck, bad luck. She's got good luck. Really? Only one guy with good luck? Luckstorm just gives people extreme luck. Either extreme good or extreme bad. Maybe we should try Charm. That'll charm him, and he'll be able to win. Yes! Yes! Perfect! Alright, so we've electrocuted a dead cat, and now we have a dead cat on our team. And that's the only part that's, like, actually kind of difficult to do? Ah, uh, how do I want to do this? this? Ooh, electrical, fire, and water, alright. Oh, fuck! I brought Stonewall along! He's useless. Oh man, I'm running out of plasm. Because it took so long to do the thing without frightening anyone. Alright, so I'm overusing plasm right here, which is dangerous and can get my unit like, to vanish. But it's fine, because I managed to land that. I don't want Stonewall, I want Platter Claws. Okay, so Taste Aura shows me what he's actually weak to? Here's water, okay. Thank you for now. Powers Flood would get the job done. But I don't have enough fear for that. Motherfucker. I don't have anything good to use because I don't have Clatter Claws and I lack his super, super reflexibility. Alright, where the fuck is that other one? I know there's another ghost around here. Here, here's the one. Hey, dude. Like, yeah, so this is some guy who got killed in an initiation ritual. And he wants revenge by scaring the crap out of the leader of this place. Which means you're pretty much guaranteed to get him automatically. What's your shattering song? 120. Come on, boo, do something. Oh, all of his powers are gone. Cool down. Alrighty. If I do this, there we go. Kinesis. That'll do something? Dude, that did fuck all. I guess there's not much in this room to move around. Oh, wait, no. No, never mind. We got effects from it. Oh, wait. Kinesis is ongoing, so it'll technically ongoing, even though there's only one thing that moved already and isn't continuing to move. So got a bit more of fear from that. Uh, what do we got down here? Do we have enough for a uh, flood? We do if... Wendell's powers are set to nothing. Uh, I don't know if this is the guy that's weak to water. But whatever, flood does a ton of damage anyway. Holy crap, that just nearly one-shot that guy. Oh wow, that guy just got everything maxed out. 
that feels like just water, not even. Oh wow, did I just get like almost all three of them in one move? Holy shit. Yeah, this is why the higher cost ones are super, super fucking worth it. Uh, he doesn't have anything that can really be useful here. Just hit anything with him, right? Memo skill, right? No. Okay, so now he's gone, so we got the nerds taken care of, and I think they're the ones who hang out in the basement. God, this would be a great place for Clatterclaws to drop in and fuck everyone. I uh, can't bind him here. Can't bind him here. Uh, what's Terrorize got for us? You would think. Oh yeah, this is the uh, corpse of some guy who got uh, chopped up, and then had his shit just taken somewhere else and used as a frat party toy. Or the frat party toy. You know what the fuck I mean? Oh yes, and once a guy has been completely scared off, the uh, plasm from his fear never goes away. So it's permanent progress. Maybe they drop a shattering song. Maybe that'll hit these guys. Well, it cracked oh, that. So much yes, better. Shattering Song that literally shatters crash. certain objects, Play. because objects have stuff like health, because this game is overcomplicated for no good reason. But it's great, that's why I love it. Uh, Aether doesn't really have much else she can do. Ooh. Kitchen binding. Ah, oh, they're all fucking outside. Can't do shit about that. Wish I had clatter claws. I guess technically Stonewall can do, like, Swallow, but... That's like, fuck all. Maybe I've caught Jamie, I've got Shivers. Shivers TK Storm is absolutely devastating. Causes all sorts of people to lose their shit because everything's flipping around all over the place. I wonder if that was the effects of Tremor or not. That guy didn't seem to give even half a fuck. Ah, Stonewall is so useless. Oh, uh, where can I bind this guy? I can bind him over here? Where can I bind Thorn? What? Okay, so he just has water fetters that I can hit him with. There's no corpse fetters to use. There's plenty of emotional fetters, though. Like, this couch is violent and emotional for some reason. But, uh... It's never explained why, you'll have to figure out the other location. That's not standard for couches. Most couches don't do that, like this one. Who does have to go straight for TK Storm? Ah, fuck the numb, just go for TK Storm. It only hit like one guy, but oh, it'll hit a couple of them, nice. Oh wow, enough to make her just instantly pass out. Uh, no, there's no one in here. Oh, that's too expensive. Uh, uh, this is a place where a bunch of people are gathered. It's good to drop a Kinesis here, have shit just floating around all over the place. Oh, man, yeah. TK Storm hit, like, a ton of people because it lasts a while and a bunch of shit just keeps moving around. Uh, uh, why? Oh, we found her, uh, weakness? No, oh, not the POV button. Bio button. Fears hunted. Okay. Uh, can I do it? Drop Stonewall over here? God, he's so useless. I hate Stonewall. Essence was JT YouTuber's virtual rish. Ha! Huh. Egg pipe like instruments are rare. Okay. I mean, can you blame them? You basically just tie cats together and squeeze. No one actually wants to listen to that. Uh, oh, right. Terrorize has. Oh, cool! I got the guy that was binding this guy. Dinosaur's face, priceless man, definitely worth dying for. All right, so fascinate draws people in. Can we bound anywhere to this room? I don't think so. Ah, uh, this guy can be bound to this room though. 
Yes. Fascinate. There's various things that are very... Violence, murder, emotional. But not corpse. Damn it. Ooh. Yes, that's a good combo. Fascinate will draw people in, then they'll see the TK Storm and lose their shit, because... Uh, Terrorist? What type of ghost is he? What's his epitaph? Apparition? Okay. Anyway, it draws people into the TK store where they lose their shit because it does so much damage. Where's Burke? I can't do shit to him because I don't have a good thing for outside. But I guess I can put Stonewall here and do something bad? Okay, maybe Swallow? Is he gonna swallow the, someone who's already got Max Fear? No, he's gonna swallow this guy. Or fail it entirely because it got out of range. God damn it. Uh, reactive rays. Lucky can't do shit here. Oh man, I need to find a good place to drop this guy because I've got plasm to spare right now. What about over here? No, but I can bind bind my air elemental indoors because the air inside this bicycle counts for air elements. Shattering song didn't seem to do much to anyone, unfortunately. Uh, what if they run around here? I can probably let Thorn hit them when they sneak by. Or, no, 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 I can find Thorn to the kitchen where people are heading right now. Who the fuck is this guy? He's just hanging out over here where I can't get him. What a dickhead. Okay, so this guy's heading down the stairs and he'll be basically walking straight into one of our classic ghosties. Here, find you here. TK Storm will finish him without a doubt. Yep. Oh, and hit this guy too. Nice. Uh oh, it's just this guy left then. Gotta take out Weasel. Which means it's time for the hyper mobile things to take over. Where's this guy going? Ah, uh, hmm. Oh, he's fled because he heard the chains moving. Alright, so that's probably a good chest part to drop him. Show rips or get out. Now you. Is this guy going downstairs? Yeah, that's one of the reasons I want Clatter Claws, because he's great at harassing people when you've only got like one or two people left to hit. What's this? Oh! Fucking. Oh, but he already left there. Fucking hell. What kind of... This is just like indoor fetters. Something else I can use here. Anyway, that's why I wanted to climb a class. Okay, now where's he running? What's we got here? Uh, fuck all. Oh, wait, no, no. He's going downstairs. Excellent, excellent. Uh, uh, uh. Guess we'll do whatever we can with whatever he does here. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. I'm gonna bind Wendell over here. That'll scare him. Ah, back upstairs? Fucker! Ah, uh, fuck it, you're on the air, Mallet. Hey, the mechanic cat. No, I'm evil. Why do you ask? Uh, Shattering Song did fuck all because he does not fear noises. And I think that's the only circumstance Shattering Song will actually scare people. This is a thoroughfare, I believe, but I don't have anything that binds to a thoroughfare. So he's heading back down here. Hopefully he'll walk into a TK storm and lose his shit. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Oh, oh, is Wendell gonna chase him upstairs? No, Wendell can't cross the uh, boundary of floors. Oh, wait, what? Oh, shit, Wendell did chase him upstairs. Okay, that'll be enough to finish him off. Now, I want to make sure none of the ghosts hit him with something like slow or swallow or cause him to uh, stop moving, so I'm just gonna bench everyone. I, I'm not Mo, I'm Jones. What are you talking about? Well, I still got the 2x bonus, which isn't too bad. Do I have enough to get, uh... The joy of script rodeo games. Kind of. Alright. 
So how much, okay, I've only got uh, 592, which means it's not enough to upgrade our good old second, whatchamacallit, spider friend. So this is the first level that decides to do something weird and unique. This level isn't about just, you know, scaring the people away as quickly as possible to get the highest score in most resources. Uh, the goal of this level is to expose two, at least two, of the three murders here. Which doesn't necessarily free all of the ghosts here, but... And made certain they would stay away. It does give a good chance to, and it's possible to expose all three and free all three ghosts. The house itself. And that will give three things to your team and give you a better events. score. And so the actual goal here, the actual mission here, we still have a duty to protect the. It's not just to scare everyone off. I have to basically, I have to basically put three, two of the three spirits to rest, even though I don't technically have to. By yeah, showing the cops that there was a murderer here. You've got that chick who was a door to door makeup salesman, saleswoman. Who got poisoned? There's a electrical repair guy up there whose corp whose body is stuck in the chimney, and there's one guy who got bricked up in the basement. Sinister is a foot. All right. Uh, Gashley is useless here. Whirl weird. Nah. Uh, Terrorize will be good. What's all Screech got? Fluster, Mania, Shattering Song, Psychotic Rage. These are all really good things if you're trying to drive people insane. But that's not the mission here. Smoking Joe, Murder Fetter, which is really strong here. Kinesis, Naza, Laughter, Lingering Smell. That's not going to work. I need to move people around and hope their AI works in my favor. Thorn's got Slow. Okay, none of that will attract people. None of that will move people. Ghostly apparition. Yeah, these are all like really good for scared people, but I specifically need people to like lure people. Uh, clatter claws. I need Stonewall for his tremor ability, which comes in handy here. Ah, uh, cog jammer. No. Lucky is great for building belief because that's what Charm and Luckstorm and Cut Lights all do. These both can also cause fear, but they mostly build belief. And the higher belief someone has in the supernatural, the more effective stuff is on them. Like, if they super believe in the supernatural, madness will almost always land, um... They'll take a ton of fear damage really quickly, stuff like that. I think I'm just gonna go- wait, what does World World have? Yes, World World is a poltergeist, which means he has to be fettered to a child, which means if there's no child on the map, you can't use him. And if you scare the child off, then you can't bind him anymore, he's gone. Kinesis, TK Storm, Jinx, Blow Fuse, Fool's Errand. Fool's Errand! Okay, yeah, that's absolutely good. Reveal the hidden corpses to the mortals. Alright, so we got this guy, Static, who's stuck in the chimney and wants to get out of here. So to do that... First off, we use Tremor to shake the uh, bones loose, as you can see. But then they slide down the chimney to, like, around here? And there's a couple of different things you can do here. There's a couple of different approaches. Like, you can make the place really cold, at which point they'll light a fire to heat it up, and because it's clogged by the bones, they'll uh, try to clear out whatever it is and find a bunch of bones. Or you can just use Kinesis to yank them out. Like I did there. Uh, it feels good to stretch the old ectoplasm. And, and that's static. And he's more basically guaranteed to have them walk in here and see the bones. Like, yeah, this guy just saw the bones and was like, what the fuck? The mortals have discovered a skeleton. Skeleton. Now it must be shown to the police. So now they're going to call the cops. This guy's a bit weirded out because, holy shit, why is there a skeleton here? Uh, this guy. He's in a bricked up place, which I think I'm also gonna need to use Tremor there if I don't have it. Tremor's still on cooldown. Because Stonewall takes ages to do anything. Orders, current power band. So my goal here is she will only be freed when a woman actually tries her awesome, awesome makeup. So I'm trying to use Fascinate. To get Grandma Hutz or, you know, Diane Hutz, someone over here. Looks like it whiffed on everyone, though. 
Really? Everyone? Ah! Alright, so I'm gonna next step is to try having uh, Boo here use rattle chains. The police have In a high fear, high belief Let scenario, rattle chains scares people. But when they're still relatively calm and they're just like, whatever, they'll investigate. Ah, damn it! I got grandpa hot, so I wanted to get the chick over here. So now they're gonna investigate this old boarded up, or no, he's gonna not investigate the old boarded up? Fucker. Alright, is uh, this half cool down yet? Almost. Alright, so the cops are here, they're gonna see a body and not really give a shit. Arr, well, if I'm not gonna do that... Ah, I don't even have for sirens. Like, like, you can see my plasm's already going down, and if I scare everyone off, then, then I fail the mission. Which is a bit of an issue. I guess I'll try you having her use Intrigue, use current power band. Yeah, Fascinate's still on cooldown. The mortal law enforcers have located a corpse. Is anyone the coming police in here? will report this body, but it will take the discovery anyone? of a second corpse to initiate a full investigation. Well, Grandpa's looking like he's gonna. S yeah, he's tearing down the uh, planks there because he's finally got interested enough. And he's hearing weird noises from it from rattle chains. But it's dark and he can't see shit. I still need to get a woman in there to actually free uh, Maxine over here, and she's not terrible. As far as things go. Alright, so now they see a second body. Uh, maybe we'll try a fool's errand. No, I need to find a child who's near a woman. The second corpse. Show it to the police, and victory shall be yours. Alright. So if this works, then it's possible that uh, fool's errand will send Diane Hutz up to the top floor. Yeah? No? Yeah. Power's full there. Please? Please. Alright, so where's she going? Might go to the top floor. Also, yes, as you can see, the uh, plasm went up after they discovered the uh, body, because fear isn't necessarily just from attacks. It's also from stuff like, uh, just getting people out. Oh, hey! She did it! Alright. Totally on her own without any of my intervention through sheer RNG. Hurrah! Perhaps that blusher would better yeah, say that if go. her facial skin tone were paler. Shall we find out? Hmm? So with that taken care of, we can bench all these fuckers. Drop a tremor down here and hope to get someone over here to free Arc Light. Because Tremor just opened up a brick, which might get someone to lean in, and he needs to possess a corpse, or possess a living person, to escape. Oh, I don't even have enough for Siren Song at this point. Ah, Plasm constantly going down because I'm not frightening people. Maybe I should start trying to scare people. Oh, oh, did that hit him? Is that over you? Is that coming down? Oh. We had some people coming down. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't even have enough money left for uh, Siren Song at all. Nice. Maybe Rattle Chains will get their attention? And someone will lean into this fucking hole? Please? RNG, work with me? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, shit. He's looking through the hole. He's knocking a thing in to see what's going on. Is he gonna get possessed? Is it gonna happen? Yes! Oh man, that means we got all three and relatively quickly. Alright, so he managed, Arc Light managed to possess his way out of that hole. Yeah? Can't hang on yeah! This trip Time for a tea break. Yeah, this is really fucking hard to do. A lot of it comes down to RNG cooperation. So now we just need the cops to discover the last corpse. Where's she at? Oh, she's over there. 
Which basically just means walk up to the top floor. And then we win! I've got all three I've got corpses publicly available. It's just a matter of time. Wish there was a fast forward button like there is in The Sims. Oh, that was the wrong button. We zoom in a bit and then go up a bit. Alright, Norman Franz is going in here, and when he sees the body, we win! I think. And I got all three ghosts. Handyman has arrived. Handyman. He oh, may be right. Useful in yeah, if you take long enough here, the handyman will show up and try to fix some stuff. And you can use him to uh, free Arclight more easily. Oh, two seconds off from maximum rank. But it's fine. We still got a great rank. Which means we have enough plasm to uh, upgrade our friendly little spider. With a legion, which is incredible. It's actually a really high tier power on a guy that's... Uh, oh, right, this one. This is another one where you don't actually scare people. A rash professor of the occult recently took a powerful tome to the woods with the goal of summoning so this an is pretty much just uh, known as the Dark even called and pay attention. It was a pun, but I don't remember what it was. Cabin after disastrous initial basically, oh, right, God, this one's a pain. His research at the university. Uh, basically, there's a creepy Three cabin in the woods filled with notes of uh, summoning otherworldly beings by a uh, to the cabin in crazy professor, the and our goal is to get them to take the summoning, to learn that book, purposes. find that book, cast a summoning ritual, and Aid get their souls devoured. The summoning so, we may recruit so that we can recruit a way, way ourselves. overpriced ghost who's kind of good? Uh, you only actually get to use him in the very last map of the game, and then once you've completed that, you can go back and replay maps with him. He does have some really, really good shit, though. He can, like, instant kill people, basically. Oh, wait, no. Recommend. Uh... I don't think I need Stonewall. Terrorize might be better here. This is another map where you have to trust the AI to help you out here. And yes, as you can see, the ghost that we were created are just hanging up here. Whether which we got in the first map is now our standard one. I uh, got Maxine Factor, who are, we're using right here because she's good at this kind of stuff that we need. Where's the last one? Oh, wow, Sadik is a Wraith. He'd probably be really good if we got him Surge, because Surge is like the best ability in the game. Trick the mortals into summoning the Darkling by using the Ancient Tome. Alrighty. So far, the re normally you want to use, uh, what's his face? Yeah, these guys need to find the key. They need to realize that there's a basement that's hidden. Uh, orders, power, your current power band. Use Tempest, Powers, Gust. Powers, Gather Winds. Bind here. So, weather effects stack. And the combination of all three of them using uh, weather effects. Yeah, basically this thing was caught in a dream catcher. So we just used so much wind magic, or not wind magic, wind powers at the same time that it just got ripped off the wall. Alrighty. And we have a similar issue over here. There's a ghost that's trapped, a uh, water elemental that's trapped in the toilet. And will be freed if flush, but as we're about to demonstrate, Bees! So we have to kill bees. And how do you kill bees? Well, one option would be to use Tremor, like I was talking about. The other option is to stack so many wind effects at once that the high nest just goes flying, right? That works? That works, right? Please? Swore that worked. Does it not actually work? Thought it worked. Fuck, I might need to reload the map then and get uh, Stonewall in over here. Because Tremor does break that. 
Maybe Kinesis can hit it if it's positioned just right? Oh, no! Okay, so we just needed a shitload of wind. We needed to have the third wind going. All three wind effects doing it at the same time. Yeah, you can see how it's like blowing all of the curtains in. It's knocked some of the windows open. The trees are just losing their shit. You can combine a bunch of different effects in a bunch of really weird different ways. Like, if you stack all sorts of uh, weather effects together, you can create thunderstorms and whatnot, which just basically deals passive frightened damage to everyone in the level the whole time. Which is pretty excellent. I need to get, get someone to take a shit. Does, uh, yes, my foolishness. does she have, Rain Dancer have any powers that make people do anything? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, is she taking a shit? Is she taking a shit? Are we gonna get a shit taken? Is we gonna... Hey, Callie, fuck! No, I'm not winning because you didn't take a shit. Also, hi, welcome to Ghost Master. We need to get someone... This is basically The Sims, but backwards. We need to get one of the Sims to take a shit. That's how we unlock this ghost. Which means we can wait until their bladder maxes out. But, uh, hopefully I can just get one of them to walk over here when their bladder isn't full with the Rattle Chains ability? Oh, wait, 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 that might spook him. We don't need him being too spooky to take a shit. Oh, he's taking a shit! He's taking a shit! Mission accomplished. We got a sim to take a shit. Welcome to this game. And now that he will flush after taking a shit, Rain Dancer will be freed from her prison. I think? Please? Wait, why? Why is there a toilet? In an outhouse with like plumbing? Isn't this normally just a hole in the ground? Why is there like a full flushable toilet oh, in an outhouse? Flow. Now turn Rain Dancer to our enemies that she may fall upon them. Well, anyway, we rescued Rain Dancer and added her to our team. I don't know if she's actually gonna be useful. There is one, two things I can think of that might be useful for her. Alright, so they need to find the fucking key to get into the basement, I think. The fuck is the key for the basement? These guys are actively looking for stuff inside the house, and if they can find the, uh, key... I don't know where the fuck the key is. I should maybe find the key and use Kinesis to make it more visible? I genuinely don't know where the key is in this level. Well, oh wait, is this guy... Nope, he's looking for the chest. Yeah, so if they can find the key, they can get into the basement, which is locked. But, unless I move the book to someplace more visible, well, they'll be able to get it more easily, that won't even help much. So I'm gonna have Boo Kinesis some shit around, get the book into plain sight. Perfect. Oh yeah, and here's our last ghost, Moonscream. Who uh, was murdered by the crazy professor that was looking to summon ancient eldritch entities. My heart slowing as my sanity fled till death. I do like her writing though. Really good delivery on her line. And yeah, she's just pissed and wants to spook people. Which I mean fair. That's a respectable reason to be a ghost and dickhead people around. If we had Tremor, I could smash this open. Alright, now seriously, there has to be a key somewhere. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, she already had the key! Okay. No, no, that's fine. That's perfectly adequate. So now she can open up the basement. I'm pretty sure if we had the uh, Earthquake ability, which is a very high-level Earth Elemental ability, which we don't have yet, we'd be able to just instantly smash that and the fucking, like, we'd smash basically every breakable object on the level. That's such a good move. We don't have Earthquake yet. I would revenge myself upon the living. They need I would revenge myself before. upon the living. That's a gr I love the, her lines. Her dialogue is great. She's one of my favorite guests. Alright, so we need to get people down here. 
current power band. Oh, this is not thoroughfare? Fuck. What about fast? So we can use here, or no, she's already bound to that corpse, so we can't have, you can't have multiple ghosts on one fetter. Which is really unfortunate. Okay, we got electrical and emotional, air. Oh, does this world have good power for this? Insane invitation? Sure. We'll give that a shot. What else we got for that? Electrical, emotional. Oh, wait, no, they're already coming over here. Yes, Insane Invitation prioritizes people who have high levels of madness. Alright, so we got the three of them down here. We had the book exposed. We helped them get the key. We had them take a shit, which is the most important part of this mission. The most difficult part. And now they're going to speak Simlish and invoke the ancient ritual, except the crazy old professor is here. With a gun! Ghostmaster, do not allow the deranged professor to foil our plans. He doesn't want them to steal his research. So he is going to try to force them out of there and then have his buddy in some sort of fucked up secret society do stuff. Um, Wait till they're all gone. And we can spooky surprise Dr. Krause. With her heart beating out of her chest. Oh, wait, that hit the wrong person. Fuck! If the, uh... Screams of three people, if those three people are trying to have capture their vigil get scared off, we lose. That's a lose condition for us. Uh, who else can we bind here? Murder, two, murder. This is... No, that's just corpse, not murder. Fuck. Uh, Aether? Oh, can I? I don't even have plasm for it. Yeah, so we're on a time limit to get rid of Dr. Krauss. And he's got actually pretty low belief. What the fuck? Okay, I thought he had higher belief. Ah, uh, but his madness is pretty high. Whisper might do it. Ah, uh, no, his belief was... That looks like it failed. Yep, let me let me actually just shut that off real quick. All right. Ah, uh, what am I going to do here? What's the play? I've only got, like, the indoor fetter. Kraus does not give a shit about most of this. Why are these guys back down here getting spooked? Alright, you're pretty useless. Let's try... piping, maybe? Pretty sure this whole place counts as Earth, which means if I brought Stonewall, he'd be able to do something, at least. Alright, so... Kinesis did something, at least. I don't know if anyone that fetters the corpse... How is this not a murder thing? He was totally fucking... Ah, whatever. Uh... Oh! You see that little glowy effect when I hover over it? That means this book is too magical to actually fetter to. Oh, but we have enough fear to drop a Shattering Song, at least. Oh, fuck your gathering wind. It's not gonna do shit in here. Ah, uh, he doesn't give a shit about sound, motherfucker. Should I go back to Whisperwind, I guess? Yeah, this is bad. I should have brought something else I was good. I should have not bothered with Terrorize. It didn't do shit. Who the fuck even are the murder fetish? Fet fetish. Fetters. Motherfucker. Uh, uh. Yeah, this might just have to be left entirely to Boo, and I might lose this mission. What have he got? Everything he has is on cooldown. Fuck. And I got those idiots. Maybe there's a way to lure them out of here? With thorough Wow, the only murder... Fuck, I think that's the only murder. Murder fetter. It's that one fucking deer head. Yeah, oh god, I can't do shit with either of them then. Oh god, they're basically dead slots from picking the wrong stuff, which is a problem that happens a lot with this game. I am surprised I have not run out of time and lost already. 
But it's fine, I guess? Oh, you still have the order only stuff with the current power band, don't you? Will Indoor Tempest fuck with him a little bit, it looks like? This is Bio. He's angry, alright. I can't use that. I don't have any stuff with good emotions. Um. Link's not doing shit. Find Boo closer. And these. Yeah, Bruce is about to fucking lose his shit too, which is unfortunate. Because if he gets scared off, again, we lose. Alright, well. Our timer on this is pretty bad, too. Alright, so the Distant Thunder spooked him a little bit, which means the next thing will do double to him. Except what after fucking Bruce Allen. Uh, does this guy have... Okay, he does have enough training to know to be able to, told to pick on Dr. Kraus. Hopefully Bruce Allen doesn't lose his shit. Same invitation. All you've got is Tempest. Terrible. Gather Winds is even weaker than Tempest. Alright. Cross is doing okay. Richards might wander in here and get spooked a bit. I should have got something I could fetter to a corpse. That would have made this a lot easier. Do I want to restart? I swear, if I get like a... A no rating for this, like... Should be like three levels of rating you can get on this. Maybe like a times zero multiplier or whatever. Then I'm definitely just going to restart this and try better. Uh, honestly, it might be faster just to redo it. Let me try again, with summoners not included. Alright, All right, so Cataclaws will be good for sparing people, you're good at luring people. And I need you, I need you. Uh, do I want Stonewall? What do I have with Fetters to Corpse? What's he do? Oh, he does that. Roast, Bonfire, Human Torch, Possess. Fuck it! Let's try this group! Trick the mortals into summoning the Darkling by using the Ancient Gather Toad. wins. Yes. Uh, Powers, Tempest... Alright, so we've got everyone in here. The witch is T-posing for some reason. There we go, smashes that off. Repeat the same thing. Karaoke me a limerick. No. I don't know any limericks. Uh, also find you out here and you out here. And have everyone just spam wind effects to rip off the bees. And then hope we get another good flush RNG. Uh, limericks are the five lines, second, first, and fifth rhyme, third and fourth rhyme. I don't know if there's a specific number of syllables they have to be. Okay, that's gone. Which means we can kill the winds again, we can rattle chains to try to get people out here. Haiku is a lazy man's lever. Pretty much. Gotta use Siren Song to convince people to look around over here, which might make them slightly more likely to take a shit. Oh shit, he's already in there. Is he gonna shit? Is he gonna shit? I think he's just gonna sit there and think, fuck! Hey, damn it, Bruce. We need someone out here. Take it a shit, please. Yeah, this part is basically just RNG. I don't think there's any way to force the thing to be flushed. Oh, I might have spooked him, rather than which might convince him to shit his pants, but that won't flush the toilet. Ah, fuck. 
So these guys are looking around for the key. They'll probably find it on their own without my help. But I really, really need for them to take a shit. Better corpse. I don't think there's anyone that's you, him. Shattering sign, gather winds. Nope. Ah, uh, they're too far away to even hear the rattle chains. Come on, you fuckers. And yes, this is the dark truth about a lot of this game. It's mostly just hoping that the AI cooperates. Alright, so these guys are chatting about something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is he gonna take a shit? We're just gonna stand in here scratching his- Ah! He's taking a shit! Hell yeah! Alright, so we got that. And then we have to get people over here after they find the key? I don't know who's got the key, if they've got the key already. I still don't know where they got the key from. But once he flushes, we're good. Then we can probably just have Weather Witch Siren Song people over there, and they'll realize that they need a key and start looking for one? If they don't already have the key. Come on, dude, shit faster, you ain't got all day. Snip the snake. Alright. Alright, so we freed Rain Dancer because he took a shit. Current power band, yes. So this will hopefully lure people over here. Talk with Moonstream again to get her on the side. Come on. Come on, folks. Get over here. So we're gonna walk out this way, head over here. And then realize I need a key, right? Please? I know, my plasm's dying off pretty quick. Okay, so she at least knows that there's a padlock there. Which is important, because normally this whole thing is covered by, like, leaves? And the leaves mean that they can't actually see that there's a basement. So now they're looking specifically for a key. Oh, and I should, uh, kinesis the book back into place. And again, if I had Earthquake and level up my Earth Elemental, which... Eh. Earthquake's the only good move that they get. But if I did that, I could just explode these doors open and they wouldn't have to worry about a key. Alright. So, oh wait, he already had the key? Yes. Okay, cool. Perfect. Arclight can't bind to that because it's already occupied with Moonscream. Uh, I should have got someone who could fetter to emotional. Oh well. We've got enough people that can fetter to inside that will probably be fine when the professor shows back up. Alright, so he's heading down there. He'll find the book. Once he's got the book, things will be fine. Yep, he's got the book, he's gonna put it on the thing, he's gonna get the other three sims down here, they'll start the ritual. Once the ritual is complete, Professor shows up, and then we'll just destroy him. Oh right, we even got Legion, which, you know, because Clatterclaws is a very low-ranking spirit, only costs 20 Plasm to use one of the best effects in the game. Ridiculously efficient. It's always worth upgrading the lowest level stuff. Because they tend to start off with shitty moves, but if you have them good moves, then they just have a completely, completely disproportionate effect for their cost. Especially if you get Buck maxed out. Holy fuck, that guy is incredible. That's the uh, dog I mentioned earlier, whose two fetters are inside or outside, which means literally everywhere. Come on. Ah, I can't skip this cutscene. You've got nothing to do but wait. Alright, Professor shows up and he's got a gun. Ghostmaster, do not allow the deranged Professor to foil our plans. Alright, cool. 
Wait for these three idiots to get the fuck out of here. Come on, Sarah. There's a dude waving a gun around. Quit being an idiot and just hurry the fuck up. Alright, so they're probably enough on the stairs that it's probably not an issue. Ah, uh, spooky surprise on, yeah, the professor this time. Wow, they did a lot of damage. I mean, I guess we did just have his dead wife show up and scream at him. Which, man, that was a lot of plasm. Uh, hopefully none of them, none of the... These, these guys have decent fear ratios. This is only Bruce Elm that I'm worried about accidentally killing. Alright, Legion hit, Kinesis hit. Uh, come on, Sarah, get the fuck out of there. Alright. Legion hit, so we, the Swarm Strike is gone. We can replace that, go straight to Hide and Seek. Go straight to Scattered Swarm, which already went. Okay, then Creepers. Um. Is he just running? No, he's gonna stick around here. We can use Human Torch to set his ass on fire. And I don't know about you guys, but getting set on fire is a good way to lose your shit in terms of fear. Yeah, that's way better. That's the kind of speed that we want. So Professor lost his shit because we set him on fire and had his dead wife show up. So he's getting the fuck out of here while the rest of these dorks are gonna be going down to where we need him. I think? What does she got? Cacophony. Yeah! She basically... Basically has, uh... No, like, environmental stuff. She can't lure people. She can't interact with the environment. But stuff like Cacophony is really powerful. Spooky Surprise is powerful. All of this shit is great for building up fear, but she doesn't really have much in the way of utility. Good striker, not good at setting stuff up. Although Fluster's alright for setting stuff up, it makes the next hit deal double, so if you start off with a Fluster and then straight into Cacophony, you just absolutely wreck someone. If they're also, like, scared of noises, or subconsciously scared of noises, that can easily just drop them in one go. Alright, so they completed the ritual, they summoned the Darkling, and now he's gonna eat their souls. The ritual is complete, but the Darkling needs more souls. Alrighty, and yeah, we can't use the Darkling yet, even though we summoned him. Later attention. For the time can't use him until we've already completed the final mission in the game, then we can only use him on replays. Oh god, only at times two! 21 seconds too slow! That's horrible. Oh whatever. Because of your success. Yeah, we got Buck. Haunters have been spared from that other weird like blob that doesn't look anything in particular on the right is Buck. He's incredible. Do I have enough plasm to uh, upgrade him already? Because that's what I'm gonna do right away. Because he's just that fucking good. All right, Buck powers. Uh, you have Swarm Strike and Creepers. Uh, we could also get flower power, but meh, it's too weak to be really worth it. And it has a really, really long use time, so it'll interrupt his actual scare and stuff stuff. Alright, so what do we got? The unusual suspects and dead fellas. Ah! Both of these missions kind of suck. Maybe I can upgrade Wendell to make the second one not suck as hard. Ah, fuck are they. Here we go, Wendell, powers, hide and seek. Okay, so you can't do shit. What about Boo? We can get Fool's Iron on Boo, which is pretty good. That'll be useful for this. Can I have the dog? Sorry, nope, that dog is mine. He is my loyal servant and absolute favorite. All right, so what the fuck do I need? A Bloodstorm? Are such pathetic, amusing gonna want insane invitation. I'm gonna need Leak, which I also got in that guy. Need to involve uh, ourselves Rattle Chains, which I've also got, so Boo is an absolute shoe in there. He's got three of the five powers I need to free every ghost here. Our existence. 
Dawn uh, Barbaric. That could be frilled with hailstorms. Which we can get from the water elemental trap here. Mouthing the dead, claiming that there ain't no such thing as ghosts. Oh yeah, so this we have a specific guy we need to hit for this mission, who's actually re it's, it's a really easy mission to complete quickly. Since we just gotta stare off one guy who's fairly resistant to stuff. Uh, Quiver and Boo. We need Lucky Axe. What's the recommend for this? Weather Witch? Okay, I can see that. Static, no. Rain Dancer? <clears throat> no. Platter Claws, yes. Boo, yes. Let's go with this setup. Uh, Weather Witch might be kind of shit here. Hmm, do we want to go with the Weather Witch? Thoroughfare is a decent place to be bound, and Siren Song is a pretty high level attract. So she's very good at directing people. Problem is, the rest of her set doesn't let her do much of anything. I guess I can probably just get the job done for these three for the actual mission, whether which is only there for Siren Song. Don Bartholomew believes there are no ghosts. Prove him wrong. Make him believe. Also, this level is fucking huge. Alright, Knuckles? I don't think he even ever uses this guy. We need to bind Lucky to the wheel once someone's playing and give them great luck. I need to get the chef over here to free that guy. Oh. Is Ray Hill gonna start playing immediately? If so... Ah, oh, hell yeah! That's good luck. So, luck storm. This guy needs to get bad. This guy needs to get good. It looks like that's what we got. Ah, uh, shit. Hopefully they're gonna keep playing anyway. Otherwise, I'll just restart with this stuff. Alright, so he's better. We need him to lose all of his chips. Which will cause him to panic, and that'll free this guy. Nope, this guy fucking... Yeah, because I accidentally fucked up and Luxor went away. Ah, fuck it, we'll just restart at that point. Can you give me 52, 352 channel points? No. No, I cannot. Ah, uh, Boo, Quiver... Fuck these two. So, Clotter Claws and Boo. Don Bartholomew believes there are right, let's no try this ghosts. Again. Prove him wrong. Make him believe. Yes, hopefully, Joe DeVito. These are probably all names to people, aren't they? aren't they? Like, from The Godfather or something? I don't watch movies, so I don't really know what the fuck's going on. Uh... Alright, no one's going over there at the start this time, which is unfortunate. Uh, I should preemptively set it to only use the power of the current power band so that uh, Luxstorm doesn't wear off like it did last time. Ah, motherfucker. Alright, no one's going over there. Alright, so we need to... Find this guy... I think here would be best? No. Here, maybe. To get people to investigate what the fuck's going on. Like, Julie just heard something. The captain just heard something. Oh, hey, Macleod, like the fucking... Oh, wow, they're already investigating? That's excellent. I mean, they're hearing weird noises coming from the, uh, part of the ship that controls the everything? They're coming down? Yes! Which means... We can drop a leak on this place and they'll see shit leaking and they're gonna be like, Oh fuck, we need to do something about this. Which means that they're gonna go in here and purge the bilge water, which will free the trapped water elemental. Yeah? Yes! 
Perfect. Oh man, that's excellent. <sighs> so we've got Wave Dancer, whatever the fuck this bitch is called. Right away. Wave Master, alright. Uh, uh, uh. Who else we got? Right, to flee free Flash Jordan, we need to shatter the corpse, this, this thing. What can be done with the hailstones that our local water elemental has? Because her whole backstory is that she was doing an investigation on here and accidentally hid in a coffin with another corpse, which was the dude's grandma. So she got cremated and uh, stuck there. So with that being broken, Flash Jordan should be free. Yeah? Yeah! It is a very complicated RTS. And for no good reason, most of the mechanics like show up once and then are never used again, but technically exist in every level. It's super weird. Like, I could create a thunderstorm here by having a bunch of weather effects stack. Hello? It was that damn Pulitz that had me snooping da -da -da -da. at the door of grandmother's funeral, but it I've busted you, Luce. What the fuck else do you need? I wonder if that's a glitch. Well, whatever. Still need someone over there. Maybe, like, rain to wash it away? Do we have rain? No. We have gusts and can't should be bound here. No. What's the name of this game? Ghostmaster. I totally forgot to upgrade my stream, stream information at all, didn't I? Let me do that right now. Oh, my God. Because one hand, change this to Ghost Master. Get rid of first playthrough. Fuck it. Oh, I can't get rid of singing too. All right. Fucking hell. I never remember to upgrade my stream shit. All right, category should be correct now. If it's not showing up, it should, you should just F5 and it'll be there. Uh, maybe I can use Kinesis to scatter the ashes. That'll get the job done. No, I guess Flash Gordon might just be glitched. Oh, fuck it, whatever then. Where's the chef? Power, fool's errand. If this works, this will be a 50-50 of him getting to where we need him to be. I fucking love RTS. I mean, it's interesting. It's got a lot of really shitty, stupid design choices in it, but it's also really fucking unique. There's no other game that even resembles this. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, so we went to the wrong one. But if he plays with the thing... He didn't play with the thing. But we can maybe get him to go to the other one with a second Fool's Errand, which is why I purchased the ability right here. Ye... No. He's going after Flash Gordon. Right! Because she's still stuck here. Fuck! Alright, I'll we'll bench the two of you for now. We may as well deal some damage to Bartholomew. Wait. Wait. Thanks, Chief. Oh, oh now it just remember that she's gone. I feel a story coming on. Ah, that's so weird. May as well swarm strike the fucker or legion the fucker while we're waiting. <laughs> Look at how much damage that did, despite his belief being super low. Look at how much belief he gained from it. It's great! Ah, Legion is just the best move. I mean, that'll got that bought us some plasm. Go back over here and see that still nobody's doing shit. Fuck is the chef. Let's try him with another fool's iron, see if it works. Come on. So, this guy might go to the right place, might not. We'll see. Whoa, what the hell the fuck happened to this guy? Is he that scared of shit? Well, I might as well... Oh, man, might be too slow to spawn in to get him. Uh, hide and seek is... 
whiff. Damn it! Alright, so where's Klaus going? Yes, yeah, so we need to get him to whistle that tune in front of the piano so that this ghost can finally complete his song. Yeah! Like this! Because he couldn't remember the song that he got, that he played that got him killed, is all. And we can't skip hey, that cutscene. Turns out you're one hell. Of so now we've recruited that guy, and we still need to get someone over to the last place. Uh, is Fool's Iron off recharge? Yes. Uh, where's the nearest guy? I guess up here. Fuck it. Ah, uh, bound into the wrong place. Hit him? No, he's already away. Fuck. Um. <sighs> Fuck else are we going now? Well, I guess if he's here, we can slap him with a fool's iron, and there's only one place he can go because there's only one place that's actually better. Oh, wow, the fool's iron whiffed. And this guy's already on cooldown from it. Fuck. So I guess we'll harass the Dawn for a bit. Hello? I'd like to bind him to this place. Okay, okay so it was working. This wasn't shown. Oh, he went down the place. Pick on Don Bartholomew. Bind it down one. Oh shit, Ray Hill's doing it. So we could luck storm here. Hopefully we'll give Ray good luck, the dealer bad luck, which allows him to lose three times in a row. Okay, so he's got good luck. What's the dealer got? Bad luck. Perfect! So there should be three losses in a row, which will cause Eddie Venus to uh, panic because he's playing with the boss's money here. And uh, that'll get Knuckles his revenge on this guy because Eddie Venus whacked him to hide the fact that he was playing with the boss's money. Alright, that's pretty much all taken care of, and I'm gonna just let that go. And I'll just need to harass Don Bartholomew. Click on Don Bartholomew. I was Kinesis, but he's outside, unfortunately. Which would be an issue, except we have fucking Buck who just goes anywhere and does anything. Yep, instantly hit. Nothing he can fucking do about it. Oh no, he ran away? Well, we can drop another buck on him. Just constantly. <laughs> yep. Alright, so we've got all four. Now we just have to finish off Don Bartholomew. Where the fuck did he go? So he's up here, he's running... Where the fuck are you going? So he's going down, which means I should bind this guy here to spook the crap out of him. Yeah, Squiver doesn't have much in the way of actually scaring people. But he does have a lot of tools for uh, interacting with the environment. Fool's errant. No, I wanted you to hit with like Kinesis or something. Oh, nice. Yes, because Buck can go anywhere, his chase can literally go anywhere. Yeah. Well, I do have a redeem for asking me something, but shoot. What's the best way to press a girl on the first date? Uh, well, what I always do is be, like, really tall and good-looking and really, really muscular and work out a lot. So try just doing that. That'll probably work fine, right? All right, find you here. You don't really have a way to spook him, but fuck it. Technically, we're still indoors, so we can hit him with another one. Ah, uh, he ran. Ah, uh, Legion's just gonna whiff. That's his ultimate. Uh, do -do -do. Where the fuck is he going? Okay, so he's going down here. Which, he's probably not gonna go down another flight of stairs, right? 
Yeah, he's going over here. Violence, emotional, sure. I can totally bench Lucky at this point. Oh, wait, I got him already. Well, we're good. But I just have to wait for him to swim to the edge of the map. And fuck it, let's just spook people for giggles and shits. If we can max out anyone else's fear, we'll get a slight bonus. Uh, is there anyone else you can even hit? Not a whole lot of places where to bind him. Where there are people around. Oh wow, this guy got jinxed and got electrocuted. That's actually really good. I just can slap Buck down on him. Fuck it. Ah, Buck too long to spawn in. Find you here. Find you here. What, are y'all ever shit on cooldown? Oh no, he's ordered to uh, pick on the one guy that's already done. Fuck, that's why he's not doing anything. Okay, so while he's getting electrocuted, we can also have him be chased, which will just stack it. Bartholomew has fled in terror. Or we just complete the mission instead. All right, whatever. Our existence lightly in the future. Ah, yeah, this is a hard mission to get the good time on. But I got all four haunters, which is a lot of points anyway. So four out two isn't bad. All right, so this is the return to the tutorial level where you actually have to deal with shit killing you. And unusual suspects. This one's kind of a pain. But I should be able to get both of them done, I think. Recommend. Uh, no? No. Maybe. Eh. I even want Wendell. This is so much better for that shit. No. I specifically want a ghost from face packs and broomsticks before doing that mission. He has the bonfire the ability to be bound to electrical and can learn surge, which means that he is just incredibly exclusive. useful in a ton of different situations. All right, no fuck off, no fuck off. Yes. God, what cog jammer? No, I've already got weather witch. Uh, Wendell is good. Boo is good. Uh, Moonscream is probably going to be good. Bind to Thoroughfare? There's a lot of that on this map. So she'll be a big hitter at the end of the mission, and these guys will just lead into doing stuff. And Rain Dancer is there to free a specific spirit. Or... No! We are going to need Cogjammer for this one. Are we? Ah, fuck it, let's go with it anyway. Drive the witches away from the sorority house. Yes, they let a bunch of goth chicks who practice magic into the sorority house. So they've got this magic circle that's binding people and uh, allows, protects people from ghosts and makes it harder for you to bind stuff. And makes it way the fuck easier for them to banish our dudes. If you bind an elemental to each of the parts of the circle, you can actually reverse it and make yourself immune to stuff, but that I takes four entity. of the your, like, six slots? Of mortals, I will gladly aid your struggle. So we can just put out the fire, which, one, breaks With the circle, circle broken, the witches will be without protection. and gives a fire now tail that was the time fucking to awesome. Strike. Uh, who else do we got? Right, we need her to get someone. We need to get someone specific to the chick in the mirror. Who the fuck is she? Another floor up. It's like yeah. Totally out there. Yes, dead sorority chick. In a mirror, you know. And, and she wants to fix her hair. Oh wow, you, you can know? see her changing and into the uh, the showering thing because her hygiene stat was too low. Like because totally this is literally the Sims, but backwards. Okay, so we need to find someone with that same hairstyle, which I think is Blair. So yes, yeah, so we need to get Blair in there so she can copy her hair. 
And then lastly, we've got Doesn't Hogwash. I'm glad to see you. Check out this crazy... Who needs electricity, some sort of electricity thing to get out of here because he's stuck on this thing. He can't bind to anywhere else. I think one of these dudes has headphones? And therefore is an electrical fetter. Yes, it's this guy. Okay, so we need to get Tony to Polo to go to a specific place. And that's why I picked up Fool's Aaron, because this is a 50-50 shot of making him do what we want. He'll either run down to uh, Hogwash or run over to Trisha. And it looks like he's going to Trisha. Fuck. Oh, but it's locked, so he can't get in because someone's taking a shit. Alright. Alright, bench. All right, no, that's Epitaph. Bench. There we go. Anyway, now, you now need to bully the goth chicks. Ah, she's fucking walking away. Yeah, so she's gonna leave nothing. Ah, uh, Trisha isn't here? I think? Or no, Blair isn't here, and she's the one that she's wor we're worried about. We need to keep her around. So now we have our two swarmers just hang out here and do a ton of shit. We didn't need Cogjammer. Okay, whatever. But whatever, Wild and Crazy is a decent thing to do. Scare some dudes, assuming anyone's left here, but they aren't because they left. Ah, bully the goth chicks, thank you. Hello? Okay, so he's doing something. Alright, creepers cancel it, immediately go into swarm strike for more damage. Alright. Perfect. Well, Benjamin, we can't leave anyone here in too long, because if the, uh... If the goth chicks figure out where the ghosts are, they can banish them and I lose them for the map. Also, it takes a huge chunk of your points off. Where the hell is she? Is full errands off cooldown? Yes. So, hopefully this'll not have her run towards Cogjammer. Or Hogwash. I think that's where she's gonna wind up going. No! Okay. So she will go speak to Trisha, which will allow us to get the thing, and we'll do the thing. Okay! Cool. Yeah! So now we've got her, who is actually probably not going to be seeing too much use. What the fuck are even our powers? Er, powers. Uh, Ethereal Gift is actually decent, but the fact that she can only be bound to mirrors is super limiting. Clone is, I think, pretty good, though. Uh, who the fuck is the guy? Is Burke? No. Is it Tony? Yes. But this is still on cooldown, so let's go bully some goth chicks for a bit. Oh, hey, two in the same room. Yeah, I can see how one of them has been... how Buck has been spotted. So they can probably banish him. Is all your shit on cooldown? No, just fucking use Swarm Strike on her already. Jesus. Yeah, that's a ranged thing rather than a, a, a room thing, so that works. Uh, yeah, he's got bonfire. And there's a lot of people in this room. This is not... Yeah, I need to get Tony, so this'll be fine. It'll hit everyone in the room by setting the entire room on fire. And that scares the crap out of everyone! Which makes it a very useful, cost-efficient thing. Just as decent damage to everyone. It also tends to make people actually stay in one place because I want to try and put the fire out like you would in The Sims. Ah, oh, there's Tony. Which means we can have other people add in other stuff on top of that and just deal tons and tons of damage to people. Like, Nancy's just gone. And it's a long-lasting, ongoing thing. So anyone who wanders into this room is just going to keep taking damage for all of it. Like what happened to her right here. Anyway, let's bench all of them. Gotta go find Tony again. 
but I can order Boo to pick on him specifically, can I? Which means when he gets back in here and gets back to flirting with the chick he's interested in, Karen. Come on, isn't your, your thing's off cooldown? Come on, please? This shit's off cooldown, why are you not using it? Tony's right there. What is this? Maybe delete that order? There we go. Yeah, for some reason the order was fucking fixed up. The AI script in this game is bad. There's no two ways around it, it's just bad. Okay, so now he should hang out here, because he... Fool's Aaron sends him to a random fetter, and there's only one fetter he can actually get to, which is what Hogwash needs to get out of here. Oh yeah, this is like... Yeah, so he hops onto the uh, headset, and now we just need to focus on bullying the goths. Uh... Yeah, go straight for a kinesis. Maybe mix in that and this. Yeah, she's looking for ghosts, and we have a bunch of people that are just going to destroy her. Yep. Legion plus Chase did her in. And then she just walks in here and gets hit by, by accident, which is great. Uh, Susan's the next one that we need to focus on. Hey, look, a bunch of people in one room. Ah, uh, Boo's been spotted. Ah, the evil cock that redeemed. Been a while since someone did... Actually, I don't know, maybe the first redeem for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, let's put a thoroughfare in. Yeah, her in here. A lot of people ought to be running around in here. Cacophony scares the crap out of people. Always bonfires can be hitting people. The fuck is Susan? Hey, look! Outside! That's a place I can hit while she's panicking. Because Buck goes anywhere is incredible. How's Michelle doing? Our good old tube top guy. She's just off by herself, it looks like. What could a hogwash do? Does he have Surge? He does have Surge! Holy shit, that's great! Surge will hit her, paralyze her for a bit from the electric shock, and then we can just have everyone just hit her with stuff while she is paralyzed for even further damage! Eh, hey, look at that. Almost gone already. How's she doing, though? She's still just running back and forth in a panic. At least once was in order, yes. It's a great redeem, it always puts me in a good mood, because I love doing my evil cackle. Is Buck out of stuff? Yes. That's the problem with Buck, his stuff doesn't come back quickly and tends to be burned through very quickly. Uh, Thorfair includes outside, right? Yeah. So while she's panicking, we can have our good old Moonscream just fucking go after her. Where's Michelle at? She's basically toast. Might as well... Oh, wait. She'll just walk in here and lose her shit. Right? Ah! Uh, Scattered Swarm gonna hit her? She walks in there, Scattered Swarm will probably hit her and finish her. Yes! Saturn Swarm is an AoE thing. Uh, Susan is running into a wall. I don't know if that's her pathing glitch glitching out or if she's just losing her mind that hard. But straight finish finishes her off. Oh, wait, not quite! Weapon fact. How does one use ghosts to get revenge? Uh, usually you just hire a ghost to fuck with people, which isn't too hard to do. You just have to know how to get their spirit's attention and ask them a favor and convince them that it's a good idea. Because again, ghosts are just, you know, people having an experience. Although I guess if you really wanted to, you could probably just lure people into a particularly territorial ghost, which is usually what's going on with, like, asylums and whatnot. How is this last goth not gone? Come on, goth, get out of here. Yes, we got particularly that. Oh, I, hmm. 
You seem to be losing it. Oh, wow, I've actually already scared off almost everyone. Uh, flood is a good move. Can we have her wandering to some place where we can flood? Maybe. Oh, wait, yes, we can, because it's right here. And she's probably gonna go up the stairs and leave before it actually goes off. Ha, huh, that was a waste of a power. Uh, wait, should we come up those stairs? Which means if we can get it with a surge, like so... Fuck, just missed! Oh wait, already this place is still flooded, so she'll wander in there and be freaked out by it. Good. Uh, the dudes are all more resistant to this shit, tend to have higher bravery as a whole. Uh, there's anything here except inside? Doesn't look like it. Alright, buddy. Oh, wait, I can just fucking... Oh. Oh, did I only need to scare off the witches, not everyone? Huh. Okay. Oh, holy shit! 1460 plasm? That's amazing! Alright, let me go to the ghoul room and get Surge again. Surge is also super useful, like, practically mandatory to have, like, at least three Surge users for the, uh, final level, final boss fight. So, you also want to have a bunch of people with gift. Where the fuck did our local elemental go? Knuckles, Rain Dancer. Moonscream, Weather Witch... Come on. Stonewall. Arclight Flash. Wait. No, but for real, where the fuck did uh, Firetail go? He's supposed to be here somewhere. On the basement. Hey, Rick Care! Oh, there he is. Okay, how much does it cost to get him Surge? Oof, almost all of it. Worth it, though. Surge is so good, and he can be bound in so many places. Sweat, cut, light, strange behavior. Ah, eh, the rest of it's kind of shit. Yeah! It's because they all have them bound to places where they can be bound. What's even cooler is that the actual final mission on the complete edition of the game is this mansion. The final level takes place in your fucking own base. And that is so cool and such a nice touch. I mean, there's some stuff changed, but yes, this is actually the final map. And it's also the first fucking map you can get to, because it's the upgrade place. It, it's such a nice little bookend for the story. Uh, I'm not going to use Shivers or Finger, Weather Witch, whatever. And we're mostly broke. Ah, fuck it. I got the Fire Elemental, that's what I really wanted. The more... Uh, I want Hogwash, I want Buck, I want Clatter Claws. I want Boo, I want Firetail, I need Stonewall. Alright, later, Mew. Oh wow, it's almost time for me to end this anyway. Uh, I probably should do it, uh... Probably should end this mission now, actually. So I do got shit I need to do and some stuff I need to read. So I guess we'll leave the unusual suspects for tomorrow. Uh, who's around to be raided? Hopefully Alice is still doing her celebration. I want to raid her since she finally followed me. Which will be great, because I do eventually want to collab with her. We've got similar vibes and similar interests. Plus, at her size, she probably needs a bit of help moving bodies and whatnot. And that's something I'm great at! I'm pretty big and strong to move bodies, so let's see. Where's Alice? Is she still going? Is she doing her 1,000 follower celebration? Secret's birthday flash. Yoro. Ah, no. It looks like she's already closed it. Ah, uh, well, there's a Akiyaji Margo. I don't know if she's. She's probably too big to be worth investing at this point. There's Doc Pestis. But he he's already loyal to me. I can already rely on him. I have not interacted with Daishima. Picky is probably too outsized and knows of me, but is not a fan. Koki I've already raided at least once. Prails from Abigail? Ah, I don't have any opinions on who to raid. Just eat the bodies. I mean, I guess that works. 
Uh, Patella's here. She is smaller than me. She would probably appreciate the raid the most. It's also Emily the Poltergeist. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Fuck it, let's go with Emily the Poltergeist. I have never interacted with her before, but I wanted to keep an eye on her because we're thematically similar enough. Shame I missed uh, Alice, though. Maybe we'll have to go some other time. Emily the Poltergeist. What do you mean, Abby? Emily the Poltergeist VT. I think that's spelled right. Yeah. Yeah, all oh, right. Raid message. Ah, uh, raid message. Ghost Army Raid. And remember, if you don't have the emote and you've been watching this for like an hour, not even enough. If you've been watching it for 30 minutes, you can unlock that emote and get the best emote on Twitch. Thunder Channel Rewards. So there you go. There's your fucking message. Uh, oh, god damn it. The Midnights just showed up after I already fucking hit the raid command. Whatever. Fuck those guys. Fuck you and your shit timing, assholes. I already hit the raid command. You're not getting shit from me for that. Fuck it. Let's raid now. <laughs>